Hello, welcome. In this video, we'll talk about floating point unit, FPU. This figure shows all instructions are supported by different ARM Cortex M cores. Here, the letter M stands for microcontroller. Cortex M0 and M1 provides basic instructions for data processing and I/O control. Cortex M3 extends M0 and M1 by adding instructions for advanced data processing and bit field manipulations. Cortex M4 extends M3 by adding instructions for digital signal processing and floating point operations. The floating point unit, FPU, is a math coprocessor designed to carry out operations on floating point numbers. FPU is an optional hardware component. Some Cortex M4 microcontroller don't have a MPU. Therefore, check the datasheet carefully and see whether FPU is present. A floating point number can be single precision, which is declared as float in C, or double precision, which is declared as double in C. For float, 32 bits are used to represent a floating point number. For double, 64 bits are used. The FPU on Cortex M4 can fully support a single precision operations, but not double precision. Let's use a simple example to compile the compiled programs under two different scenarios. FPU is present and FPU is not present. This simple C program calculates the area of a rectangle. When FPU is not present, the compiled program will very similar to this one. The floating point multiplication is performed by this runtime library function. Floating point operations will be emulated by using integer operations. As a result, the input arguments are passed via Cortex core register R0 and R1, and the result is returned in register R0. However, if FPU is available, the compiled program will look like this. The floating point multiplication is directly performed by the FPU without using any software library. And the input arguments are passed via the floating point register S0 and S1. And the result is returned in S0. On Cortex M4, FPU can take as fast as one clock cycle to perform a floating point multiplication, which is much faster than the multiplication function in the runtime software library. To ask the compiler to generate an executable that uses FPU, in the target setting in KL, we need to select single precision. For GCC user, we need to type some special commands with some options to activate the FPU. If a C program performs double precision calculations, the C compiler will use runtime library functions to handle the calculations in software. For most C compilers, a double position calculations will be emulated by using the integer operations instead of single position floating point operations. To run floating point instructions, software needs to enable FPU first. After a system reset operation, the FPU is disabled. Software must run these C statements to program the coprocessor access control register CPACR before software uses any floating point instructions. Let's take a look at the CPACR register. On Cortex M4, both the CP10 and CP11 fields in the CPACR are used for the FPU. By default, CP11 and CP10 fields are zeros after a system reset, and this setting disables FPU to allow low power dissipations. To enable FPU, software should set the CP11 and CP10 fields to 1-1 in binary. These settings allow FPU to be fully accessed. Here is the example code in C and assembly. Note that CPACR can only be written if the processor is in the privilege mode. Now let's look at how FPU operates. This is Cortex M core, and it has 13 general purpose register named from R0 to R12, stack pointer, link register, program counter, and a few special purpose registers. The process core uses LDR and PARP instructions to read the memory, 
and str and push instructions to write to the memory. Similarly, the FPU core processor has its own general and special purpose registers. Specifically, the FPU has 32 single precision registers, named from S0 to S31. Here, the letter S stands for single precision. Each single precision register has 32 bit, and each of them can hold either a single precision floating point value or a 32 bit integer. FPU also has three special purpose registers, as listed here. The FPU uses VLDR or VPOP to load data from the memory, and VSTORE or VPUSH to store data into memory. These single precision registers can also be accessed as a pair to form double precision registers named from D0 to D15. For example, the double precision register D0 is composed of two single precision registers S1 and S0, with S1 holding the upper 32 bit and S0 the lower 32 bit. Let me show you a few assembly instructions. We can use this instruction to load a single precision floating point number stored at the memory address in R0. We can use this to load a double precision value from the memory. FPU on Cortex M4 doesn't support double precision floating point calculations, but assembly instructions can still load or store double precision data. These are two push instructions that push single and double precision registers onto the stack. This table compiles some Cortex M and FPU instructions, such as access memory, copying registers, arithmetic operations, and comparison. All FPU instructions start with the letter V, which stands for vector floating point. FPU also supports some advanced options, which has no corresponding instructions on Cortex M, such as the square root instruction VSQRT. All assembly functions are required to follow the procedure core standard. Registers S0 to S15 or D0 to D7 are caller saved registers. If the caller wishes the values of these registers remain the same after the callee returns, the caller should preserve them by using the stack. Register S16 to S31 or D8 to D15 are callee saved registers. The callee should recover their original values if the callee writes to them. For example, suppose function A calls function B. If the caller A expects the values of register S3 and S5 are not modified by the callee B, then the caller A should push S3 and S5 onto the stack before calling B, and also puff them off the stack to restore their original values immediately after B returns. In addition, if the caller B needs to write to register S17, B should push S17 onto the stack at the very beginning of the function and pop it off the stack at the end. The caller A has such expectation that calling a function does not influence the value of any register from S16 to S31. How to pass floating point arguments to a function if FPU is used? When arguments are passed to a function, each argument is assigned in turn to the next free register of the corresponding type. Let's use this example to show how arguments are passed. The first argument A1 is a double, and it's passed via register D0. The second argument A2 is a float, and it's passed in register S2. The next argument a3 is a double, and the next double position register available is D2. Therefore, A3 is passed in register D2. Following this process, the rest arguments are passed in this way. A4 in S3, A5 in S6, A6 in D4, A7 in S7, and 
a8 in d5. Let me give you an example to show how arguments are passed. This C function calculates the area of a circle. It takes one float argument named radius. In the equivalent assembly implementation, the input argument's radius is passed in the single precision register S0. The result is also returned to the caller in S0. The assembly program uses a pseudo instruction to initialize S1, and then two multiplication instructions to calculate the area. The result is saved and returned in S0. We can use vmove instruction to copy data between cortex core registers and FPU general purpose registers. However, we need to use two special instructions, vmrs and vmsr, to read or write to FPU special purpose registers. For example, to change the FPU rounding mode to rounding towards zero, Software needs to use VMRS to read and VMSR to write to the register FPSCR. This assembly code sets B22 and 23 of FPSCR to 1. Just for your reference, FPSCR stands for Floating Point Status Control Register. B22 and 23 defines the rounding mode. The default is to round to the nearest. When this two bit are one, FPU runs the result towards zero. Now let's look at the comparison instruction. In this C code, the max function returns the larger one among float A and float B. Pay attention here. The floating point comparison instruction, VCMP, updates the NCCV flex of the FPU's status control register, FPSCR not the Cortex-M's application program status register, APSR. Therefore, in order to run the conditionally executed code or any condition branch instructions, software must copy the NGCV flags from the FPU's FPSCR to the Cortex-M's APSR. FPU also supports fast data conversion between different data types. This diagram shows instructions that convert a 32-bit signed or unsigned integer to a single or double position floating point number. This diagram shows the conversion in the opposite direction. It converts a float or double to a 32-bit signed or unsigned integer. FPU can also support conversion between a float and a fixed point. These assembly instructions convert a 32-bit fixed point to a float. The immediate number 10 specifies that the fraction part of the fixed point has 10 binary bit. During an interrupt, the stacking and unstacking with FPU works differently than rows without FPU. Let's first review auto stacking and unstacking. When an interrupt request arrives, the processor automatically pushes some register onto the stack before it starts to execute the corresponding interrupt handler. When an interrupt handler completes, the processor automatically pops this register off the stack and restores the processor state. The automatic stacking and unstacking improves the performance of executing interrupt handlers. Without FPU, Hardware automatically pushes these eight registers onto the stack, and later automatically pops them off the stack. However, with FPU, 17 FPU registers are also pushed onto the stack, including S0 to S15 and FPSCR. The FPU special purpose register called Floating Point Context Address Register, FPCAR, holds the memory address where S0 is stored in the stack frame. If lazy stack is enabled, hardware does not push those FPU registers onto the stack unless the interrupt handler uses FPU registers. Thank you for watching. Please visit the book website for more information. See you next time.